All right, Paul, thank you. Neighborhood Eats is taking a brief break from our perfect pizza tour to focus on the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Yeah, this week we wanted to show you some restaurants that are cooking for the cause. Eyewitness News reporter Marvin Hurst starts at a restaurant known for its Asian Cajun flair. L.A. Crawfish started in Houston. This location in San Antonio has been here about two years, so they are using food this week to help the victims of Hurricane Harvey. So I moved here um, to San Antonio from Houston about four years ago. Um, I'm a true foodie at heart. The San Antonio food scene is great, but the one thing that I really missed from home was the Vietnamese Cajun seafood boil, especially the crawfish. So I saw a great opportunity here, and I partnered up with L.A. Crawfish. They take Cajun food and give it a burst of Asian flavor, like the seafood boil, crab, shrimp, crawfish, andouille sausage, corn, and potatoes in garlic butter and a Cajun sauce, a crawfish po'boy with ramelot sauce. How about a bowl of Asian Cajun gumbo, beignet sticks, or garlic noodles with crawfish, sausage, and shrimp with a Vietnamese feel. Oh, Gulf Coast oysters on the half shell. Korean kimchi, Japanese ponzu, and Thai green chili. Everything on the menu this Friday can be purchased to help victims of Hurricane Harvey. 25% yes, of, our of the proceeds that if I come in and make an order this Friday, 25% of what I pay you will go to the American Red Cross. That's correct, Marvin. 25%, it doesn't matter how you order, call in orders, dine in orders, pick up orders, any type of orders. As long as it's made this Friday here at LA Crawfish and Alamo Ranch, those proceeds will go directly to the American Red Cross. Our corporate headquarters is actually resides in Houston, as well as our distribution company. Our fishermen that actually supplies us on a normal basis. Uh, most of our friends, our families, and our colleagues still live in Houston, and to actually learn that most of them have lost their homes, and some are even being forced to evacuate from the homes that they grew up in, it's an absolutely devastating event. Marvin, Ken's five, Eyewitness News. <laughs> Well, it looked good. That gumbo looked fantastic. Everything it, they showed looked, looked, really looked good. good. Yeah. yeah, it all looked good. And and knowing that they're contributing to the cause makes it even better. Yeah. Which I know a lot of businesses in town. I've, I've heard from quite a few who said, you know, we've, we've either cooked it up and taken hot meals to the victims or they are donating some of the proceeds, you know, from money that they're making or whatever it is, they're helping somehow. Chick-fil-A yeah. was here yesterday, said they took 1400 box lunches down Ooh. toward uh, Victoria, I think that's it was. A, that's a 